Hello guys, full time at the Emirates Stadium, Arsenal 2, Brighton 0. I'm so glad it was 2-0 in the end. I'm so glad Kai Havertz got that second goal for a number of reasons. Number one, really pleased for Kai Havertz. Big moment for him at the Emirates Stadium. I feel like a lot of his moments today have been away from home. Uh, and this was a really big moment in front of the home fans at, uh, at the North Bank. Composed finish, sealed the game. Delighted for him. But the main reason I was happy is that this was at the very least a 2-0 game. Arsenal absolutely dominated Brighton in every respect of the game, every aspect of the game. Mikel Arteta said that, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I think he was asked about, do you want your team to control matches? And he said, no, I want them to dominate. Well, they did today. Um, I think in the first 80 minutes of the game, Brighton had one shot on goal. I think this is the first match in about 35 games in which they didn't score. And David Raya was largely untested. I mean, how many times have we said that this season? For all the talk about the goalkeepers, they're not actually called upon to make a great many saves. This was another one of those days. Um, I just thought this was a brilliant performance from Arsenal. I really did. Could it have been three? Could it have been four? Yeah, absolutely. And I don't think anyone would have raised any eyebrows given the way we played. But Mikel Arteta was asked on Friday, you know, are your team as exciting as they were last season? I feel like, <laughs> you never know, but it feels like he almost pinned that on the dressing room wall before the game, that question, because it looked like the players were determined to answer it. I mean, I thought they smothered Brighton in every area of the pitch. Um, you know, they worked hard on the press, stopping Brighton from playing out, catching them once or twice. In fact, the goal we scored to get the opening goal at long last from Gabriel Jesus, it comes from a corner, but we win that corner by pressing high and taking the ball off Brighton. And yes, ultimately the goal comes from a set piece, but there is a kind of cumulative effect to these things. You know, you put a defence under enough pressure, eventually they're going to creak, eventually they're going to make a mistake, especially when you're pressing like that. That makes them anxious, that makes them nervous, that makes them liable to make errors. We saw a poor headed flick on and there was Gabriel Jesus. I hate to say it, in the Harry Kane position at the back post on set pieces, Harry Kane scored countless goals like that. If you're a number nine, you want to score goals, that's where you should stand. Wait on that back post. Time after time, the balls get flicked on or go straight through and ends up there. And Jesus was able to tuck it away. Pleased for him because it was an exemplary performance from him once again. Um, Two nil, as I say, Havertz on the break. The story of the first half was really a disbelief that we didn't score. We attacked the game so well from the first minute. Such a strong 11, you know, probably uh, Arteta's favoured 11, you might say. Maybe Tommy Asu on form this season, but um, really, really strong starting 11. Went at it from the first whistle, created chances, and you did think, is this going to be a bit like Villa where we're dominant? You know, we have opportunities, we don't take them. At least this time, I think we were converting that into shots. Must have had 20 shots in the game. Finishing maybe wasn't quite there. Um, but that early goal in the second half really settled nerves. And, you know, as long as it's 1-0, there's always a chance. Look at Man City at the Etihad. Look at how Palace came back into that at 2-0. You can't be sure. You know, we've said 2-0 is a dangerous scoreline in the past. Well, one is even more dangerous. But that second goal from Kai Havertz really killed off the game. Um, and it's no less than Arsenal deserved. It's no less than Arsenal deserved. I don't think, you know, Brighton are one of the most awkward, difficult teams to play in this Premier League. I don't think you'll see another team dispatch them as consummately, consummately, that's a word, isn't it? As Arsenal did today. Um, really enjoyed it. I was in my seat in the North Bank and it was exciting. It was exciting to watch us playing like that. Odegaard, Saka, Martinelli, Jesus, Havertz getting involved as well. Playing with verve, playing with intent. Uh, I loved it. I really loved it. And to go back top of the league, another really nice bonus. Now, the funny thing is, obviously our next game is a really big one against Liverpool. We'll see how they get on against Manchester United. I expect them to beat them and go back to the top. Um, but that's huge, that game now, particularly in the context of City's result yesterday. And it feels weird at this time of year to have almost a full week to prepare for it. You know, I think it's six days. That's really good uh, in this festive period. You know, you're accustomed to this time of year playing every three, four days. I suppose we're seeing the benefit maybe of not being in that Carabao Cup. You know, uh, although the performance of West Ham was dismal. Quite nice, really, to be looking at it now and think, well, we've got midweek off. We can really focus on that Liverpool game and we should go there with confidence given the way we played today. Um, 
that we can really hurt them at the back. I, I think that is where we have to focus our energies. But like I say, this was a complete performance. Declan Rice, magnificent once again. The way he strides past people, the way he just burns past people, the way he knocks people off the ball physically, he's astonishing. Really, really excellent. Um, but they were all good today. It was one of those days where I thought Arsenal really turned up and really impressive. I'm going to leave it there, guys, because not much more to say. Um, obviously, there'll be the Arscast Extra on Monday and all the usual sort of thing. But um, I'll probably... I will speak to you after the Liverpool game. So, yeah, let's hope we get a result there and then it'll be a very Merry Christmas indeed. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.